It's a race to bridge the digital divide before school starts again in San Rafael. KPI X5's Emily Turner with the plans to connect the canal neighborhood. Emily? Yeah, Liz, this is a neighborhood that's traditionally Latinx and also historically underserved. But now there's an effort to fix that underserved aspect and instead connect them to the World Wide Web. We live in a digital age, but for many living in the Canal District of San Rafael, they're living in a digital black hole and nowhere more so than in this new world of remote learning. COVID uh, exacerbated the educational divide because immediately schools went to online learning. And online learning requires not only broadband, but enough broadband. The lack of connectivity has been a big problem in the majority low-income neighborhood, but now it means the difference between whether or not a child can go to school. Your children are your top priority, right? And we have so many dedicated parents that just want to see their children succeed. Um, and to not be able to have the resources around you to make that happen is extremely hard. So an alliance of city and county government, as well as private companies and nonprofits, is building a Wi-Fi mesh network for the entire neighborhood. It's just one less concern for families. The Canal District has about 3,000 students, children of families that are mostly low income. In a survey, the county found almost half of the people there didn't have internet fast enough to watch a video without buffering or taking 10 or more seconds to load. And almost 60% are without a computer at all. For a population of people who are mostly essential workers, the Canal Alliance and the county say they deserve better. It is one of those fundamental elements that have to be in place for everything else to work well. Right now, knowledge is power, especially during this epidemic. And it's really important for people to understand that we're all interconnected and the health of your neighbors, the education of your neighbors, that matters. Emily, will anyone beyond students be able to access the network, say if they're working from home? Yeah, that short answer is yes, they will. But the focus really is about students right now. In fact, they've been using the start of school as their deadline. Already, there are pieces in place, though it's not active. Uh, the first part will be up and running by the start of school. They hope to have everything up and running by Labor Day. But really, they want the primary focus to be on students and the secondary focus to be on everybody to use it, but specifically for social services and also getting information during these trying times. Focus now on the kids right now. All right, Emily, thank you.